G'day Pisces, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Going to do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. So this is a general reading, not a private reading, a general reading. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Because it might. Yeah. Something might resonate for you there. Clarify card one. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. So please do keep that in mind. You may not be the only one thinking about Pisces right now. Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. Hmm, it's your own card. Okay. Let's put that down for a minute. Clarify card three, please. And I just wanted to mention too that um, the reason I do current energy is because energy changes all the time. It can change from one minute to the next. So that's why I don't do future predictions because things just change. So that's why I read the current energy because this is what's happening now. <laughs> This is what they're thinking now. <laughs> All right, three more for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Yeah, tapping into the frequency of what's being sent currently, right now. <laughs> okay, we got them. Yeah, so I don't do future predictions. Okay, clarify card one in row two, please. Hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day, a good week, and a good weekend. And, yeah, don't forget to spoil yourself. Because you deserve it, Pisces. Clarify card two in row two, please. Really, no one can predict the future because everything changes. Clarify card three, please. And right two. Yeah, because as soon as you watch that reading, your energy changes because you've just watched it. And then, you know, it, 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 if t somebody tells you, don't do this, do that, then everything changes from what you would have naturally just done. So... Yeah, that's why I stick to the current energy right now. Okay, <laughs> enough about that. Let's begin. Oh, separation. Time apart from your partner is on horizon. So someone you're in separation from Pisces. Oh, no. Ew. Oh, nine of swords. They're living in a nightmare. Can't sleep at night. Six of pentacles because they want, yeah. Just lie in bed at night thinking about how they can balance this out with you. The nightmare of trying to balance this out with you. Yeah, they're in separation and they can't sleep at night because, well, perhaps they don't feel too balanced about what they what happened. But I think they want to balance things out with you. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Oh, they think you're the one, Pisces. You are the one. <laughs> but maybe not. not oh, yeah. Some people might still want their ex back. <laughs> you've got to be careful. The moon card. Yeah, this is you. You're the one. But they keep you a secret. They keep you hidden in the shadows. The hermit. Another major arcana. The Ten of Swords. The Queen of Cups, which is your energy, male or female. And the Ace of Wands. Yeah, they think you could be the one, Pisces. But they're keeping you a secret and acting like they're single.
Yeah, keeping it to themselves. Keeping it a secret and keeping it to themselves that they feel that you're the one. And going through this all this pain on their own. The painful ending. Because you're the one they truly want to love. And have this passionate beginning with. But yeah, instead... In See, they feel if they show this beautiful love, it'll just end painfully. So they come forward with just passion. And you might think, oh, well, they do love me. But, you know, well, they've got to sort themselves out because they're playing head games with you by keeping you a secret, acting like they're single, not telling every anybody they want to have this, you know, because what, they don't want to go through a painful ending if it turns out that you... <sighs> So they come in with passion. See, it's the old story of hurt people hurt people. People who were hurt hurt other people, and that's not right. You can't keep letting them do that. They need to sort their self out. They need to do that self-work, and they're not doing it. Yeah, they need to do that self-work about the painful endings they've been through so they can show love. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. Well, maybe they're going to do that. Maybe they can't handle the fact that you're in separation. They need to get themselves balanced. So perhaps because you are the one, you being the moon card, they're going to do that self-work about that painful ending so they can bring love and passion to you. We'll keep going before we decide. Oh, nine of coins and the two of swords. See, very attracted to you because you're stable, grounded, independent, looking fine. You got your stuff together, doll. Male or female. This is like the king or queen of pentacles in single mode. That's you. That's what they're right there, attracted to you. Because you got your stuff together. Well, more than they have. Because I can hear someone going, I haven't got my stuff together. Well, you've got your stuff together more than they have, all right? <laughs> But they still can't decide. See, I think they're very attracted to you, but they like being single. And they like having you being single. And this is what they aren't making the decision about. Because I think they like being single. And they'd like you to be single, not attached to anybody else. But they won't say anything about it. And they won't decide either way that they want you or they don't want you. Or want to be with you or don't want to be with you. It's, which keeps you both single. See, hmm... See, they're attracted to you because you stay single because of their indecision. Yeah, so they can keep you on a string. The temple path. Ooh, that's commitment there. Ugh. Six of cups. Knight of cups. Seven of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Uh, yeah, I think they've been down the commitment path in the past. And there were actions of love. And they invested in someone. Could have even been in you. But they ended up single. Yeah, they became, well, it's that Nine of Pentacles again. And they ended up single, but stable, grounded, independent became that. 
in the past there's been commitment but with actions of love and investment but they still ended up single so now it's just actions of passion fast fast action because it can be very fast action this eight of wands and passionate communication And be single and just all passionate talk. Or fast passionate action. A bit, you know, a bit of player energy. Or, you know, flirting and having a good time. Yeah, I think they've left commitment in the past. I think they're enjoying their single life more. Journey. Alright. Going on a journey. Four of Cups, mm. Three of Cups, and Two of Swords. See, I think going on this journey towards you and towards a, something serious with you, they're worried about gossip, they're worried about what people are going to say. If you two were to get back together. Also, they don't know if you'll accept their offer because this can be the offering or the rejection of an offer. Yeah, well, yeah, going down that journey to offer you so, uh, to reconcile or get back together or come together. They're not sure if they should do that. There's that indecision again. So we've got the Nine of Pentacles twice and the Two of Swords twice. So it's that indecision about whether to offer to reconcile with you, go down that journey. While they're in separation, it's a nightmare for them because things aren't balanced. They're attracted to you, but then there's that indecision. Because what? They like to stay single to protect themselves? This is another one that needs to heal. I've got these energies that need to heal. And victory. Okay. The death card. The five of cups. And the king of pentacles. See, I think they feel like they they're gonna win if they end things. See, they win if they end it. Because then they don't have to deal with the disappointment. But then they also miss out on the the stability of the commitment here. Yeah, so they feel that they can win if they end this. If they get to end it. But then they don't. Because then there's the disappointment of missing out on the commitment and the stability of a loving connection, which is what they actually want. But, yeah, they miss out on the victory of the King of Pentacles energy. All for the fear of the Five of Cups. So, yeah, in order to win, see if they could transform it from disappointment to something stable, that would be, yeah, that would be the ultimate win. Ah, transforming themselves from being a disappointment to someone who is stable, grounded and committed. I just don't know, Pisces. I th this is coming from their, in their separation mode. Because they're not with you, they're freaking out. 
about how to get you back. But then once they get you back, what happens? See, start investing in it. Then they want to be single again and talk. Nah. Could we start again, please? Well. Yeah, I just feel that this is the desperate call of someone who doesn't like to be single. Rather than someone that actually wants a long-term connection with you. Alright, what would this love energy like to say to Pisces, please? They like to say to Pisces. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, see, so please contact me. See, <sighs> so they're just desperately wanting you to contact them to make them feel better. I just, yeah, I think they need to reach out to you. And I don't see any, the star's not here for healing, the Four of Swords isn't here for healing. I've got the passion. There's no cups of love, it's all pentacles and oh, we've got the three of cups and four of cups, but it's a lot of swords, wands and pentacles. A lot of pentacles. Hmm. Yeah, I would let them sit a bit longer, Pisces. Um, yeah. Because I feel it's just, hmm, they don't like the fact that they've lost you, but then, <sighs> see, the victory could be that they get you to commit to them, and they win. After all the disappointments, the ending and the disappointments, they win if they can get you to commit to them again. I just don't feel that they're in this for the right reasons, though. I just feel they're back to play the game again. Mm. Sorry. Well, this is what they're thinking. Because I can't sleep at night. I can't handle it that you've gone. So they've got to work out a way to get you back. All right, well, that's your reading, Pisces. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment. That would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, all the best. Take care. Good luck, and I'll catch you later.